Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to pollinate custard apple flowers. And um, at the moment the custard apple tree has a lot of flowers and I can show you with a close-up picture um, how to do it. So with custard apple flowers what you need to do is they op you need to know that they open um, early in the morning probably around 7 o'clock and uh, late in the evening around six, 5 or 6 o'clock and that's the best time for you to pollinate. Now a word of caution is that do not overdo it um, simply because the fruit that come out if you make the tree bear a lot of fruit then the quality is not um, going to be great. So it's all about quality not quantity and that's what we learned from last year pollination. With pollination what you would need is eyes, <laughs> a paintbrush and a container so you can use anything um, that contain the pollen. Now the important thing you must consider is which one is a female and which one is a male. This one here is a male because you can see the pollen in there and what I would do is that um, I would just collect the pollen sort of like so, it just come off. It's been blooming for two days now and dried up so inside, you can see all the pollen in there. And it will just break up. And this one is a day old. So you can see the pollen is fresher. And um, with these, I would just keep it for seven days in total. And after that, I won't use it anymore because maybe it's not potent at that stage. Um, thank God I'm short. Anyway, <laughs> so um, this one is a female one, and as you can see, you can't really, it's a very secret flower. It really reflects the, um, you know, the male and the female anatomy. So the, the male one is more exposed, and the female one is sort of like hidden. <laughs> That's how I see it. And um, when you grow custard apple, the flowers that came out, um, that blooms, they have this really nice sweet smell. It's quite amazing. It's really unique. And um, But anyway, that's something you need to, if you want to experience it, you need to grow a custard apple tree and you know exactly what I mean. So with the pollen, I'm going to demonstrate how you do this. You just brush it on and go straight to the, the flowers. There we go. <laughs> and that's it. That's so easy. And you can spend hours in the garden, um, either early in the morning or in the afternoon. And in a meditative state, you, you're surrounded by the aromas and you, you're just going around and just paint brushing like a painter. Another thing I would say is that once you pollinate them, um, you just pinch it a little bit on the edge, like so. It creates a mark to let you know that it has been pollinated, so you don't have to do it twice. I'll show you the example from last week pollination. And you can see here, the fruit's already starting to show. So that's one. And this is the other one, right here. Okay. I'll have another demonstration, but I'm pretty sure you got how to pollinate anyway. It's so easy. Um, I'll pick another flowers. Let's go and find some. Go. Okay, it's another one. I'll pollinate. Go up, twist, and back down. You can see here. This is what I mean. Right inside. Okay. We've got some more here and here. So these are just really unique flowers and I really, really recommend that you grow them. Um, and one of the important thing I want to tell you is that do moderation and save some for the bees because you don't want to be doing all the work. The bees can do it much faster than you. And if you 
compete with nature, then they will die out. And um, yeah, it won't be a good thing. So it's all a sharing relationship. Try not to modify it so much because your key, your key goal is to enjoy it rather than working so hard and trying to make a lot of fruit out from one tree, okay? Um, I hope that these videos are helpful for you and that you can make beautiful fruits um, or create beautiful fruits with uh, the trees that you have. Okay then, I'll see you next time and happy gardening!